So, in these 20 years, I've had a couple of ugly cry breakdown moments on the air, but never in the history of doing this show have I had a breakdown afterwards. That is, until my interview with Sidney Poitier was over. I had watched Sidney Poitier win the Academy Award as a 10-year-old girl, and I thought, if he could do that, I wonder what I could do. So he was, and has been, and is an enormous role model for me. So after 40 years of dreaming about him, thinking about him, Sidney Poitier was finally here right in front of my face. Take a look. <laughs> You speak a lot about being the outsider. What was that like for you during that time, being the only black man on the majority of the sets, being the only black man carrying that well, and all that that meant? I thought it unfair. I mean, I knew, I knew that this color was my color, but I had no idea that it was a condemnation of me. It was going to stand in the way of my expressing myself in life as a human being. So when I had to face it, I decided that those who thought of me in such negative terms, I was going to lay down a challenge. No, I am not going to try to be as good as you. I'm going to set my bar higher and I will be better. So after that interview, I went into the control room and I sobbed and cried because I felt I was not good enough for Sydney. I felt like I didn't ask any questions that I should have asked. I felt like I was out of my body. I felt like I had on a schmada dress. I hated myself. I felt like he would never know that I was a smart person with a brain in my head because I didn't even remember what I said. Then Sydney Portier called me Sydney called me, and when he called me, he said, I was feeling the same, and I was like, oh my God. He felt the same as I felt. I wrote something for your anniversary, and I came to read it to you, okay. if that's okay. All right. All right. You want me to stand here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. The element of genius. Indeed, does genius have a shape or a form? If we cannot spot it by size or shape, then how do we know we're in its presence? Might we have been privileged to witness moments of genius in Oprah Winfrey's vision over these past 20 years, during which genius or something akin to it inspired millions of her fellow Americans to stand tall in their personal lives and reach beyond their limits? That genius is echoing still in the hearts and minds of the many who were encouraged to nurture the goodness in themselves and ready themselves to take the reins of their lives into their own hands and hold them firmly and have a say in what direction their journey through life should take. In these past 20 years, America's media industry, as extraordinary as it was, would have been considerably less vibrant without the genius of Oprah Winfrey or something akin to it. As an audience, you have seen her vision on your screens. 
As a friend, I have seen it in action. For 20 years, it has remained something to behold. Congratulations, Oprah, from all of us for those past 20 years. And for the light you brought that shines so gently on those who need it most. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.